Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another episode of watching Ashley's hair slowly dry as she watches a movie. Just kidding, welcome back to another millennial movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I don't blow dry my hair because I don't like how loud the blow dryer is in my ears. If you're new here, I'm a millennial, like, so go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. I give you a preview review, which is what I think the movie's going to be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edit it, of course, because copyright. And then I give you a review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars. All based on personal preference and what the hell do I know. Today is a film that I have probably gotten in my P.O. box like seven to ten times, I think. If you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, I'm watching the 1992 My Cousin Vinny. I feel like every single monthly live, the chat lights up with My Cousin Vinny. I put it up on a poll on Patreon and here we are today. You know, I'm sure that you have commented or sent me a DM or something kind of maybe talking about this movie. I don't recall any of it. I am unsure of who's going to be in here, what this movie is even about. Number one, I keep getting a lot of questions about this little snowman. Look at what I did. So this was sent to me. This is uh, crocheted or knitted, uh, but I got this little beans pin in my P.O. box as well. And so now it's a little pea snowman holding a bag of beans. So there's that for you. Since I haven't done it in a little while, I'm actually going to look up a movie poster. Is this movie going to be about a crazy cousin? Or we all have one, a crazy cousin. And I feel like now that I'm talking about it, I might be that crazy cousin. So this is what I'm looking at. There have been many courtroom dramas that have glorified the great American legal system. This is not one of them. Like with the two people standing there, I don't, they don't look familiar right now. Wow, so that, that gave me a whole lot of nothing, huh? All right, so I don't, I can't gather anything. So no more diddle dally and let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which is the 1992 My Cousin Vinny. I don't sing that just to be annoying. I also sing that to help me sync up the watch along video. <laughs> Little spoiler for you. I feel like I've seen that name before, so I think I've seen Joe in there. So we're just going on a little adventure, going for a drive. It's a beautiful day. Entering Alabama. I just went there to see Reba. We down south. Sometimes you need dirt. Sometimes you need horse manure. I like this song. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Sack o' suds. That's the best I could come up with. Beans are protein. Beans make you fart. You got a convertible. <laughs> Where's beans when you need her? $21.67. Can you fill this up? Listen, I respect that request. If you're gonna pay for a large, fill it up. Look, I forgot to pay for this. Oh no. You oh, you stealing. For execution is in Alabama? Month 16. 10. The thing is, I believed it for a second, because it would not surprise me if that were a fact. There might be. There's nothing to worry about until there's something to worry about. Just well, relax, Well, you stole please. that can of chicken or tuna or whatever, so there's something to worry about. Oh my god! Show me your hands! What is happening? Now put your hands on top of your head and get out of the car! How do you open the, the door? Car. Well, he's gonna get in trouble for putting his hands down. I've clearly never been arrested. You sure about that? Yeah. I feel like I've missed a couple of chapters. Do you know why you're here? Yeah. I do. I'm um, big miscommunication is happening here. Did Stan try to stop you at any time? No. I'm gonna need you I to say was... about the can of tuna before you and Stan both get hella arrested. Of course, if he is, we're gonna run enough electricity through him to light up Birmingham. Well, that is very descriptive. At what point did you shoot the clerk? I shot the clerk. Yes, when did you shoot him? Do you see what's happening here now, my guy? Whoa! Wait a minute! There we go. It clicked. I saw the light bulb go off. It, we're in Wazoo. It's in Beecham County. Is there really a place in Alabama called Wazoo? You know how corrupt it is down here? They all know each other. It's like the clans here. They're in bread. They sleep in... I would just say that in front of all of them. I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm not saying you're right. <laughs> Tony and the family. Great, who? My cousin Vinny. Title line. 
it could be a nice looking car if it were washed. But I like the boots. You know, highway a little bit. Then you got mud in your tires. He's got mud on the car too. It's a dirty car. Miss for your mud. How's your Chinese food? What is her hang up with only wanting Chinese food right now? You're in Alabama. Get some barbecue or something. I have never been to prison or jail or arrested. I got a speeding ticket once. I was going 65 and a 45 like the speed limit had just changed and I cried the entire time and the officer was so mad at me but I was legitimately scared. I had never been in trouble before. But then you have to become a sex slave and do whatever he wants. Only Protection is worth it, honestly. Did he, he just tip the How police officer? This guy I don't want to do is this. the bad hey. guy from Home Alone, right? Because it sounds just like him. But, you know, what are your alternatives? My alternatives? Yeah. The amount of miscommunication in this movie thus far is absolutely hilarious. It's either me or them. You get one way or the other. Vinny <laughs> <laughs> hey, bag of donuts. How are you? Vinny bag of donuts. What a fun little nickname. What kind of cases have you had? Assault and battery. No. So what kind of lawyer are you? Divorce? Till now, uh, personal injury. I'm not sure how this is going to help us, but better than nothing. How long have you been practicing? Almost six weeks. Ah, a good seasoned attorney. Six years? Mm hmm That's a lot of studying. Well, and he passed, so I guess it worked out. I didn't pass my first time out. Oh, never mind. For me, six times was a charm. As long as you get the job done, that's all that matters. Why does he kind of look like a young George Jones, but with dark hair? Well, <laughs> I wouldn't know where to put my hands either. How long you been that man has such a long face. To... Such a long face. On the grounds of temporary insanity. You want to hear the facts of the case? No. <laughs> I do. I want you to continue with the story, please. Just this? <laughs> <laughs> not the time. It's funny, but not the time. Is that Tammy Wynette? I think. Stand by your man. What the fuck is that? That was my question. What is that? Look at her shoulder pads. That's outrageous. Breakfast? You think? Good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's so funny. You guys down here hear about the ongoing cholesterol problem in the country? Yeah, but we don't care. It makes everything taste better. Shut up and eat. I heard of grits. I just actually never seen a grit. I don't like grits. I hate grits. Ah, well, I wanted to find out if you liked them or not. I hate grits. It's like the texture thing for me. Also, sometimes they just don't taste like anything. They taste like nothing. And then you're stuck with like this warm goo in your mouth. It's not a good time. That man's mustache. Jim Trotter, the third. Vincent LaGuardia Gambini, first. <laughs> the first? Stop it. <laughs> you know what they say? Imitation is the highest form of flattery. Donna, my Don't client. talk to me sitting in that chair. Lord, my heart just sank to my butthole. That stressed me out. I'm uh, wearing uh, clothes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are not naked. My clients didn't do anything. Once again, the communication process is broken down. Yes. You say my clients are not guilty, my guy. You'll be in contempt. I don't even want to hear you clear your throat. Oh, no. I feel like I'm in trouble. You have to bail me out. You know that, right? So contempt of court means just, like, you get hailed there? I don't understand. I don't know what that means. <laughs> She's taking a lot of pictures. She's going to have so many random memories. I mean, he tried grits this morning, got put in jail, got out of jail. Big day. They teach you procedures. Or you could go to court and watch. You know, I've never gone to law school, so I don't want to call you a liar, but something about that don't sit right with me. Procedure? See, that's what I'm talking you know, about. That's the kind of food you go to Alabama for. Do. That right there. And you know the Chinese food is that right there. Some ribs, some barbecue, some good old southern cooking. Not grits, though. Pool and chicken. What more do you need? Did you put that whole chicken leg in your mouth, sir? I'm impressed. I could use a good ass kick, and I'll be very honest with you. You're not helping your case, buddy. If I was to kick the shit out of you, 
Do I get the money? <laughs> Everybody's kind of like me. Uh, sir, what? Did you fall in your place or somebody else's? My place. Shit. Oh, I understand now. Because internally, I was like, why is he talking to this guy with a neck brace? He's a personal injury lawyer. You twisted hard enough. I twisted it just right. Are we still fighting or is this like a sexual thing now? So this is sexual now. It's a sexual tension moment. You gonna give her some of your torquage or whatever she said? Green car with a white convertible top. But they didn't have a top on. They didn't have a top. So this is a lie. This is not accurate. Then later I heard gunshots. One or two, because the lady, the other lady just said there was two, and now you're saying there's one. They peeled away. Car was all over the road. Wow, this whole county's just out to get them right now. Ted, I shot the clerk. But I did not shoot the deputy. Stand up. Oh, you're not wearing a suit. You're not wearing a suit. You're about to get in trouble. That's a hideous tie. You killed a good old boy. There is no way. You're supposed to prove that they didn't shoot him. You handled that, Judge. Oh, you're a smooth talker. You <laughs> I think you're going to be really great. Okay, well, that's very sweet and encouraging. But you don't want to give somebody false hope, though. You know? Somebody's pigs okay? They don't sound okay. Well, that explains why they don't sound okay. They're being... They're being pushed through the chute. Took us three attempts and his head caught fire. Oh my god! That's awful! <laughs> That's awful! An attorney in the public defender's office. Okay, for some reason I thought that was Mr. Rogers at first. Alright, I'm, I'm going with the public defender. Really? I didn't see that coming. He wants to use serious, solid looking bricks like, like... As you should, right? And you're gonna pull out a deck of cards. <laughs> Don't like your analogy. <laughs> An illusion. Because you're innocent. Did he just do a magic trick to convince this kid to stick with him? Who was he before he was a lawyer? A fucking comedian? <laughs> How can he help? No, a magician, clearly. Oh, that was the execution. Why don't you kick his ass and then get your $200? You know what I mean? Now that he's done trying to pull something over your eyes twice. Okay, this is so funny because right before the scene when he was turning out the light, I heard our train down the road, that whistle blow, and I thought it was going to be in this movie, and now I know that there's a train in this movie. Anyway, it's just a funny little coinkadink that happened. Does that freight train come through at 5 a.m. every morning? No, sir. I wouldn't trust him. I wouldn't trust that for some reason. Wouldn't I be better off serving justice by putting the guilty in jail? Well, I Okay, but what about putting innocent men in jail for something they didn't do? How does that make you feel? I don't know what the hell he was talking about. I don't know what a litigator is. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, is they related to an alligator? How do you feel about it? Um, well, I... I don't think you can just ask them that. You going hunting? I mean, that's how you bond in the South. You go hunting. Guns, on the hunt. It's a bonding thing. He gets it. He might be from New York, but he gets it. What am I going to wear? What are you going to hunt? <laughs> <laughs> really good questions. Missing, harmless, leaf-eating, doe-eyed little deer. Been there, done that. I used to go hunting. Not for sport. For me, I ate it. Our family eats it. Bam! A fucking bullet rips off part of your head. Your brains are laying on... Well, you don't shoot it in the brain. You shoot it in the heart or the lungs. <laughs> Can you Xerox all the files on... This is a trap and a trick and I don't believe him. He has to. By law, you're entitled. It's called disclosure. Oh, I didn't know that. Any Vincent Gambini ever try on any case in the entire state of New York? Not even a personal injury case? Jerry Gallo. Jerry Gallo? The big attorney. Oh, so it's a real attorney in New York, just a really big one and a really good one. He's dead. You know what? I thought she was going to be kind of the dumb one in this movie. She's not. She's a smart one. OMG! I love that jumpsuit. That is so fun. Backless, floral. Love that. Everything about it. Love it. The way this case is going, I ain't never getting married. You got some big feelings, Lisa. Is it possible? Okay, so now I feel kind of bad for him. That is a lot of pressure. But he also took this on himself. Oh, I didn't know owls made that noise. 
Honestly, you know what? Sleeping in a car when it's raining is like the best. I've done it several times and it's some of the best sleep ever. Well, that one guy did say that they're known for their mud, so. Listen, if this is the guy from Home Alone, then he is officially two movies where he falls right on his back. You gonna kick the shit out of me now? I was gonna say he ain't got the time to worry about it, but you know what? He had the time and now he's got the money. I mean, are lawyers actually allowed to be late to court? That suit is different. It's not his leather jacket. I'm not mocking you, Judge. Then explain that out. If he did, you wouldn't believe it. I don't like your attitude. What else is no... Oh my god, I'm so over this guy. I don't remember anybody else being in that store. So I really hope I never get caught to be a witness in a trial because I got the memory of a goldfish. Alright, fine. It's time to make you open a statement. Y'all should have went with the public defender. Your statement, sir. You got it. The bar is set pretty low, my guy. You can do it. Of, 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 of the... G -g -g <clears throat> is he nervous or does he have a stutter? I can't tell. We, we intend to prove... Is he nervous? Is they... he sick? I don't understand. I don't know what's going on here. What about everything we talked about? Well, I get a little nervous. A little there. nervous. Getting... Okay, so he was nervous. I don't blame him for being nervous. Necessary prescription eyeglasses. They read in glasses. Well, that was very close. And when they left, what angle was your point of view? They was kind of walking away from me. <laughs> Drive up in a similar... Don't shake your head. I'm not done yet. Wait till you hear the whole thing so you can understand it. <laughs> Sassy. Love it. I mean, did you buy them from the same guy who sold Jack his beanstalk beans? <laughs> oh, thank you. I've Okay, we're really focusing on the grits right now, where I think we need to get back to the time management portion. I may have been mistaken. And boom. What was that thing about doubt? Something about doubt in the court. Boom, there it is. Window of your kitchen to the sack of suds. What do we call these oh, big things? Oh! You know what? This is working out a lot better for him than I could have imagined. Now, what are these thousands of little... The judge is just as shocked as I am. Over here, dear. <laughs> she clearly needs to be wearing them now. Putting your glasses on for us, please. And now I understand that his question about thickness was not her body type, it was about her glasses. <laughs> As you've gotten older, how many different levels of thickness have you gone through? Levels of thickness. I thought he was talking about thickness. Okay, this is 50 feet. Is court really this exciting? Because I need to go to court. Let the record show that counselor's holding up two fingers. What? Your Honor, please, huh? Yeah, focus. Well, I just got it myself tonight. I'll disclose it first thing in the morning. Judge's gonna have to admit it. Well, hold on. Don't you have to disclose it now since you're admitting that you have it now? Who might then be in a position to contradict the veracity of his conclusions? Wow, okay. You know what? You used a lot of big words. I used the Hewlett Packard 5710A dual column gas chromatograph with flame analyzation detect. I definitely know that that is real and this is not made up. The chemical composition between the two samples was found to be identical. But how many cars have that tire? Gallo with the G? That's right. Jerry Gallo's dead. What a great cover up my guy. Like what does it matter if he's a real attorney or not? Like he's there, he has passed the bar. So if he hasn't done any great cases, what's it matter? Win this case in the next 90 minutes. So he's not going to win the case in the next 90 minutes because there's a 60 minute recess. So he's got 30 minutes to win this case. Again, with those god awful shoulder pads. Can we do something about those? Can I help? Can I help? No, you can't help. I wish you could. Now, hold on. She's just trying to be nice. You ain't got to be mean. What does that look supposed to mean? I'm a piece of shit because I can't figure out a way for you to help? No, it just means your tone's not very nice for no reason. You're taking out your frustration on her. He's one of me from behind. And I didn't think I could feel worse than I did a couple of seconds ago. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Been there. I love this. That's it. That is it. I'm out of here. Go find you a man that will commit to you, girl. Have them babies.
Okay, so what's in the in the pictures that he's not seeing that's actually Lisa's pictures that can help him solve the case? Please, I only have three minutes. I mean, it is true. He only has three minutes. Help a guy out. It is your job. Well, that's, this is not going to look good in court, I'll tell you that. All to rebut the testimony of George Wilbur. Is she really? I thought that was just a joke. I thought that was just a joke. She's yeah. so pretty. Is that correct? Girl, now is not the time to be petty. Now is not the time. Thank you. Goodbye. Sit down and stay there until you're told oh, to leave. Oh, she really acting out in court as if this is some kind of game, girl. You have seen your fiancé get held in contempt of court like 17,000 times. In 1964, the correct ignition timing would be four degrees before top dead center. I don't know what any of those words mean, but good for her for knowing. That this kind of information could be ascertained simply by looking at... Whose side is he on? I don't know who he's fighting for anymore. Been stuck in the mud in Alabama and all you step on the gas, one tire spins, the other tire does nothing. Because they're famous for their mud. God, so many things just happened. And here I was thinking that she wasn't going to come in handy at all. I thought she was just having a good time with her fiancé on a little adventure. <laughs> That's the kind of petty I like to see. Mm. In your expert opinion, would you say that... Oh yeah, I forgot the sheriff was running something. Your Honor, I call... Sheriff Folly. So what, was he running a plate? Well, I guess we're about to find out, but I'm trying to figure out like what he could have somebody run. Who fit the defendant's description were arrested two days ago by Sheriff Tillman in Jasper. Nice. A 357 Magnum revolver was found in their possession. Oh. That was just a bonus. That was just a sprinkle on top. That was the whipped cream on top. That was just extra. Mr. Trotter. I think Mr. Trotter's done. I think he's tired. Where are these boys' parents? And for this, I apologize. I mean, under the circumstances. I also doubted you, so I also apologize. No. Oh, yeah. He's got to get out of here up. because dude's still doing a name pool draw on the Callo guy. <laughs> he held his hands up like he was getting arrested. Confirming the very impressive legal stature of Jerry Howell. What? She even... Really? She came in more handy than I thought. My problem is I wanted to win my first case without any help from anybody. A win's a win. What's it matter? But he won his first case, so that means y'all get to get married now. I want a wedding in charge with... Brian I was going to say, you really think she's somebody who would just go to the courthouse and get married? No. A burp is spontaneous, but it's not romantic. Joe Pesci. I couldn't think of how to say his name earlier. Let's talk about him. It. It's so funny. That guy who had the neck injury, they just have him in the, in the credits as neck brace. When I saw the movie poster that I showed you in the preview review, I was like, well, that doesn't give a lot of information. I went in here completely clueless. And let me tell you something. I really thought that his little girlfriend's character was, like, obnoxious, not annoying, like, um... May was in the Jackie Chan movie, but I didn't think she was gonna come in handy. I see now why y'all wanted me to watch this so bad. It's funny. With Joe Pesci being in it and it being a comedy, I could have seen it ending with like all three of them ending up in jail for something. And honestly, that's what I was getting, uh, that's what I thought I was getting myself into. But I gotta say, this worked out way more. The resolve, absolutely there. The character development, like did we see, did we really see Vinny stepping up his game and getting it right? S some of the minor continuities in here that ended up not being so minor. Like I was like, why are we talking to this man about how you cook grits? Now I don't understand why they stress like why he couldn't sleep all the time. Like the pigs and the whistle, like I don't really understand why that was something. Number one, grits are gross and will always be gross. I hate grits, disgusting. Number two, this movie, it's a good one. This is a good movie. I had a good time. It's funny. I love the ending. Joe Pesci, another one under my belt for with him in it. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what would have put it at five stars. I'm gonna give it four, because I had a good time. Great resolve. Again, I don't know what would have gave it five stars. Why are you sitting like that? No, put your leg, there you go. You look like a little model. Look at you, you're cute. You're precious, hi. You're beautiful. 
it's one I'm glad that I watched it you were totally right that I would enjoy it thank you so much for sending it to me and, and for suggesting it when I would like forget about it after a while so thank you for your continued persistence to get me to watch it I enjoyed it is it something that I would watch again only if I had a friend that I really thought would like it good movie it just didn't hit it out of the park for me so four out of five stars glad I finally watched my cousin Vinny thank you so much for watching like subscribe stick around because this Friday we continue on into the Marvel City what Marvel Cinematic Universe with Guardians of the Galaxy and y'all have me so hyped for it I'm so ready so be sure to stick around for that and in February I'll have some classic little maybe some rom-coms or love comedies I don't know what's on the docket yet but it is the month of love so get ready for that y'all can just barely see her ears hi baby okay what am I doing you hungry you still have an hour before dinner sorry to break it to you Anyways, so I'll see you I'll see you right back here on Friday for Guardians of the Galaxy. Bye. Did you see her look at me? Hi.